Hey everybody, this is Joyce at Shadow by Utero with a little line up, and we are doing the love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. <clears throat> Please keep in mind this reading is not for everyone. It will not resonate with everyone. It's just impossible to do that. And if you would like a personalized reading, you can always email me at shadowbyutero at gmail.com. First card out is temperance. And please subscribe to my channel if you could please. And like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's see what the love life holds for Aquarius. The air sign of Aquarius. Whoa, we got them all wanting to come out. All right, we have the Six of Swords. goes the dryer. <laughs> Aquarius in love. Aquarius in love. Messages for Aquarius in love. September 2018. Messages for Aquarius. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. Wow. We have the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Got cards flying everywhere. We have the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. I'm going to put that on the side. Underneath the deck is the Wheel of the Year. The Wheel of Fortune. All right, let me put this on the side here. All right, so let's see what we've got going on, y'all. All right, we're going to start with temperance so the temperance card she is learning patience okay she or he I'm just saying she because of the picture here the angel in the picture um, this person is learning patience and how to balance their life how to keep things balanced. The Six of Swords looks like someone is moving away from a difficult situation. They're leaving troubled waters, going on to smoother water. Someone could be moving a long distance or going on a trip. All right. But also sixes are communication and they're just moving away from some problems they're getting away from the problems that they're having so with the temperance card and the six of swords right next to each other that does make a lot of sense okay you're getting out of a really shitty situation and you're trying to keep everything balanced to keep everything peaceful using logic 
and keeping everything on a good rhythm and its natural rhythm even though things are changing okay now under temperance is the three of cups all right this is celebration with friends this is an achievement of some kind see all the bounty this is abundance they're each holding a cup you know this is happy emotions this is friends celebrating together this is a lot of happiness underneath the six of swords is the eight of cups okay and what i feel is i feel like it's just going boom 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 the six of swords is moving away from this okay this is an eight this is movement this is change and this is turning you back on these cups here all right you looking up into the distance you're surrounded by water you're thinking about the moves you're going to make you're thinking about the direction you want to go in the changes you're going to make and you see water and water so there is emotions in this okay and it's not an easy transition it is emotional you know you've had you know you've had good times you've had bad times but when it comes time to change your life you know it's emotional it's not that simple you ready to move forward you are moving forward into a better more peaceful situation that you can deal with and the knight of pentacles is under the three of cups so you know right now what i see is i mainly see you know i see some a little earth you know and i see water so i feel you know and with the temperance card there's water okay could be you dealing with a water sign cancer's pisces scorpio or it's just the situation it's just that emotional that it's all over in the reading you see the waterfall in the three of cups so the knight of pentacles is coming in this is an earth sign person um, it doesn't have to be um, this also could be well this could be you moving forward okay an earth sign person would be capricorn virgo or taurus but it doesn't have to be okay you can just have elements of the you know of that sign traits of that sign so the knight of pentacles is a steady knight he's been through a lot of battles he's very slow he's meticulous he turns up every stone as he passes he stops to smell every flower along the way he makes sure of all the details before he jumps into anything because of all what he's been through and the battles that he's fought because he's tired of fighting battles he is a very stable knight he is the slowest knight in the tarot but yet he is still forward moving and he's secure you know he is stable and secure he holds the ace to his chest he earned it he worked for it he worked very hard for it he has sacrificed for it and now he's looking towards going to his home he wants to settle and he wants to make sure as he's moving towards this that everything is what it looks everything is as it seems he wants to make sure of the details before he says this is it 
I'm going to rest my head here. Okay, this is where I'm going to be. So he is going toward home. He's looking for home. And he wants to rest, settle down, and live a good life. No more battles. Under the Eight of Cups is the Five of Cups. So you are moving out of this depression, this feeling of perhaps sadness and melancholy. And with the Five of Cups, you know, it is a feeling of nostalgia, of looking back. Did I do the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? You know, maybe if I should have, if I would have done this differently, this could have come out differently. Um, I could have prevented this, or you know, just different things that go on. But it is still change is still happening. Okay, you're just looking back, remembering the past, more emotion because you are moving forward. And with moving forward, you're going to have, you know, you're going to be melancholy. You're going to look back and think about everything and how it went, okay? And here we have the Four of Swords. And this is kind of stuck in your head a little bit. Taking a rest, which is very common with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, he is going to take a rest. He is going to take a small pause here to reflect, get himself together, get his ducks in a row before he leaps into anything. All right? And this is what he's thinking. So let's see. More messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Aquarius in love. Love messages for Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius. Aquarius in love. So the first card that came out is death. This is not a physical death. This is out with the old life. You're leaving the old life behind and starting anew. You are going to have major, major, major life changes. Okay? You're going to fulfill your destiny. In the Two of Cups, soulmate. You're moving towards your soulmate, which makes sense, okay? You're finding balance here. Moving away from troubled waters, moving away from the difficulties that you went through to have that calm, stable structure in your life. Some of you are traveling, uh, moving away, literally moving long distance, or excuse me, you will be taking a trip across water, but regardless, you are definitely, your back is turned to the situation and you are planning and following through, going forward with a new life, a new start in life, and is validated by this death card, the transition, a major life transition, okay? Following death, is the two of cups okay so what I'm actually seeing right now is with this three of cups celebrating among friends happiness um, all this lush beauty around you it's like paradise it's everybody's happy celebrating 
Then here comes the Eight of Cups with the doubt, with the, you know, thinking about everything, not seeing what's behind you, the offer here, not looking at it, feeling emotional and looking off into the distance, okay? Which you have travel, okay? Now you're more emotional here, thinking about what you're going to do, what's going to happen, what's going to go on. And what the transition is, is it looks like you're going to be having a soulmate connection with someone. Okay, I need to pull some more cards to look further and see what's going on with this soulmate. Okay, more messages please for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Whoa, I'm going to let that fall. In love, love messages please for Aquarius. In love, messages please for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius. Oh, I got two, I'm going to just take them. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles is what actually was the first card to drop out. So here we are with the Fives, another Five. So that has someone feeling a little bit, a sense of loss, yet... You know, pentacles represent your money, your stability, career, finance, truly. And in this reading, I'm looking at stability. You know, it follows the four of pentacles where you want to hold on to everything. But I look at this card in this particular reading as seeing the light. Okay, there is hope. Okay, there is more changes coming, all right? You don't feel very stable at this point in time, but actually, you are moving into stability. It's just not sure yet, not being sure of what's going to happen with this, okay? So then you have the Knight of Swords, okay? This could be an air sign, another air sign, I should say, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, coming in quickly, facing the death card. So this air sign person could very well be, you know, the soulmate coming into your life and they're coming in quick and they have messages in the sort of truth that they're carrying so and they're looking right at the situation right at this life transition they're coming in and they're coming in quick so this could be happening now or it is about to happen soon the three of swords could mean a third party situation um or it could be that you're disappointed, you know, that you have some type of heartbreak concerning the soulmate or concerning this night coming in, or it could be the night. It's one of you having some type of a heartbreak, and I do feel the hurt is from a third party situation. I'm not saying they cheating on you or you're cheating on them, but it could be remnants of what this transition is new, okay? This is all like happening at one time. So what this could be to me is past fears and doubts and hurt that's still in the head. You understand? Because swords are air. It's still in your head you know, the heartbreak you went through. So let me get some more cards and see what's going on with Aquarius. You got something, Aquarius. I don't know what, but you got something. So this Knight of Pentacles, 
could easily be you or the other person coming in slow and sure and the knight of swords since you are an air sign could be you or the other person somebody's coming in fast and quick and somebody's <laughs> slower than the other person okay go figure that's the name of the game huh one person's like yeah i'm jumping in and the other person's like but hold on wait a minute let me sashay through the damn field <laughs> let me take a selfie you know shit I say get the hell up let's move this get that horse going kick that thing do <laughs> something <laughs> no I don't say abuse animals don't start <laughs> All right, come on, Aquarius. We need some more messages of love. Love messages for Aquarius. Clear messages, please. The Empress. All right, new beginnings. New beginnings. Woo woo! New beginnings with the Empress. Okay? She represents the Mother Earth figure to me. She, you know, holds the wheel in her hands. The wheel of fortune, destiny is turning, and it's turning in your favor, all right? The relationship you're going to find yourself in is meant to be. It's destined, and, you know, this is, gosh, this is fertile, uh, fru I wanted to say fertility and fruition all at the same time in one word. Fruition? Is that the word? <laughs> So this is just a lot of abundance and new beginnings and, you know, everything is just abundant and beautiful and, you know, it's a really, really good turn. Like I said, I really think this is fears getting into this relationship because everything is happening at one time, it looks like, like very quickly. Even though one person wants, it could be you or the other person wants to take it a little slower. And either you or the other person wants to just ride in quick and say, let's do this. You know. But I do see where all this is going to be fine. You know, you're going to have some emotional battles. You got a little bit of emotional scarring here. You know, and it's 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 not anger I'm seeing. I see sadness. It's sad when you complete a cycle in your life and you, you know, the happiness and the joy to look forward to is starting something new because it, it happens at the same time. You know, the ending just fades away as the beginning starts. It like it just, you don't lose a step. It doesn't stop. Everything is in forward motion. And it looks good. So far, so good. I hope y'all liking this reading, guys. Because everything looks like, you know, it's going to change for the positive. But there's a very big positive. Really overall happy vibe here. A feeling of home. And I have the sun. So the sun follows the empress. And underneath this deck, all right, is the four of wands, which is the stable, happy home, celebrating. It could be a committed relationship, an engagement, leading to marriage. But this is the home that this night is going towards, okay? This is the stability and the foundation this knight longs for, is looking for, and that's why he's so meticulous in his journey forward. Because he wants to be careful. He wants to make sure this time it's right. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. That shows consideration to the other person as well as himself or herself. Because, and I say he because it's a knight. It could be he or she, doesn't matter. We're not being gender specific here. The cards really are not. Um, you know, and 
but when that love bug hits, it could very well be that it's just going to take off. Unless this knight is you or the other person, the knight of swords. Then you got the heartbreak here, but I don't think it's because y'all are stepping out already. No, I think because keep in mind, swords are thoughts. Okay, you think, you're not going to just forget that. You're not going to just forget being, you know, having this other life. You're not going to forget that and the bad things that happen, nobody does. You just try to learn from them. And you hope that, you know, on your part, you make the best choices possible because you don't want a repeat of the past for you or the other person or whoever's involved. You really don't want that. So this, this is okay because I feel this is moving away from you, okay? The cups, you know, of emotion get smaller as far as with the heartbreak. And then the swords get smaller because it's leaving you. That's how I look at it. You have the death card. You have your soulmate card. The five of pentacles. You know, this is hope. This is hope for a foundation of stability. Because this is opportunity for change. The doors are not shut and closed. And you're just being careful. You're just being careful. And that's good. That's smart. There's nothing wrong with being careful. And you know what? This with your soulmate card, the two of cups, and then we have the three of cups, the celebrations, and now I'm looking under here, the four of wands. We have the sun, the ultimate happiness. Ultimate happiness. There could be no happier card. Even when it's in the reverse, it's still a good, happy card. That's how damn good this is. This is like the happiest card you're going to find. You know, you will be happy with this soulmate. You will find happiness, stability, the structure that makes you happy. You will have that sense of home here with this person. So let's see Aquarius what the love angels have to say about all what's going on and this is upside down there are no reversals in these particular cards here the romance angels but i like to keep my deck right side up and i always place them down upside down i don't know why love messages for the zodiac sign of aquarius please give us clear love messages for the zodiac sign of aquarius aquarius love messages for aquarius what are aquarius love messages <laughs> had it upside down anyway passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy Look out, Aquarius, tear it up. <laughs> Good for you. Tear it up. Love that soulmate. Mm -mm -mm. Love that soulmate. Messages for Aquarius, please. Love messages. Oh, that one wants to be out. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Well, chicka chicka boom boom. Getting to know each other, very good. You see that? That's that knight moving slow. He wants to be sure, getting to know each other. Very good. Taking it step by step. I like that. All right, smooth operating Aquarius. Smooth operator. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Wow. Passion. Getting to know each other. Giving the relationship a chance. This is great. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You know, this is great. This, 
this is a very positive relationship that you're going to be, you're moving into here. Not going to be, you are. Okay, and it's an absolute that it's going to happen. I'm going to tell you right now. No, this reading isn't for every single Aquarius on the planet. It's impossible for that to happen. If I could do that, hell, I'd be a millionaire. Because <laughs> I could work miracles at that point. Okay? And I'm not being facetious, guys. I'm being realistic. Okay? This is not for everybody. But this is for a good majority of Aquarius. And I'm going to tell you. You guys, this is great. This is what this is what it is. You don't give up on love. You move forward with your life. You are open to receive the love that's being offered to you and you're going to take your time and get to know this person and give the relationship a chance even though you have fears because of the heartbreak that you did endure in the past, but you know what? There's not that many people who haven't had some type of a heartbreak. And if everybody just stopped living because of the heartbreak, then the world would die out, would it not? You know, and thank you for being brave and courageous for stepping up to the plate for yourself to be receptive to the love and also to the person coming into your life who deserves that chance. Okay, this looks like a really, really good beginning here of a really good foundation of a really good, and I'm feeling mutually respected, which I don't always feel that particular thing so strongly. Um, not that I don't feel respect. Uh, it's just that's coming to my mind at this point is a lot of mutual respect. Um, the knowing of where mistakes in the past have been made in other relationships by both and wanting to do it right this time because it means that much, okay? And it does mean that much. You guys are going to have a really good relationship. From what I can see at the time of this reading right now, this looks very positive for you, Aquarius, and I'm very happy for you. You know, enjoy your relationship, and congratulations on that, okay? So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.